<laughs> What's up guys? Hello. Say hello. We are here at the airport. Where are we going girls? <laughs> Where are we going girls? That same exact intro on Emily's Cheers. vlog, Amanda's vlog, and Noelle's vlog. Um, we are at LAX right now, and we're heading to Cabo. We're gonna be meeting up with Marie and Randy uh, once we get there, and we're so excited! We're so excited! It's very early, and I'm clearly very excited. So, airport outfit. Getting hyped. Wait, where are we Wait, ready for? Cabo. Cabo. <laughs> Airport outfit, um, shorts and top are from Garage, and flannel is from Forever 21, are from Urban Outfitters, and sandals are Valentino. the worst uh, turbulence I've ever experienced, but we arrived! <laughs> While waiting for Randy and Marie, first skinny margs of the trip. Thank you. Salud! 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 Uno, dos, tres, salud! And the first... So much happiness. Chips and guac of the trip. You rock. And what's uh, the signature hashtag for this trip? The week the guac went extinct. The place like the week that guac went extinct. Thank you so much. And whoa, uh, hello. This is like so dark. There I am. Um, the name of our trip. We've officially named our trip. It is. The play, play, vacay. Love it. Uh, so we're just waiting on Marie. Her flight just landed, and then Randy gets in in like two more hours. She had to fly from Canada, so much further trip for Miss Randy Kennedy. Um, we're so excited. We were just sitting around the table, coming up with like the most amazing content ideas and like messages that we want to talk about and share with you guys. And we have so much planned. So it's gonna be such a great video. So excited. So excited. This is the honeymoon suite. This is unreal. This is gonna be Marie's bedroom. We're giving her the best one in the house because she this trip would not have happened without her. She literally organized everything. Thank you, Marie. You're the real MVP. Every day from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Whatever you need. Um, I'll be around today, tomorrow. So you text me, but anything beyond that. Taking care of breakfast and lunch for you. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, so we have uh, delicious oh, margarita. Oh. Fresh watermelon margaritas. Wow. That looks amazing. Yeah, so amazing. With our favorite wow. tequila here at the house, Get Ultra, which is tequila. Shall we? We, we shall. shall. We, we shall. shall. We're gonna salute. Ready? Oh. All right, girls. Oh, no. Dos. No, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna do the boomerang. Wait. wait. I'm gonna do the the, the non-traditional thing. Okay, ready? My arm's Wait, getting one, tired. Two, <laughs> <laughs> I want to drink it. Are you, are you one, one, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Salud! Yes. One, two, three. Thank y'all. Guys, this is our pool. What? This is our pool, and this is our view. And we actually just, <laughs> we got here five minutes ago and already decided that we're extending our trip. All the two ways. Oh, yeah. Bill's account has three playlists on there for y'all. Yeah. She had more I hope that you guys watching this are enjoying this tour as much as we are. This is literally insane. My room when I stay here, I like it. We'll level. Full bathroom, big shower. Um, they all have ACs. All of you have controllers in your room. Every single room. What's the title of me in this bed? Has an infinity. I get my own bed. I get my own bed. I get my own bed. So you can all control the bed. Amanda loves to cuddle. Me and Amanda are you down? Yeah. Well, you can just stay with me 
Remember when we lived together and you would always try and cuddle with me and then finally I came around to it towards what? the end. So I like how it's like, if we really need a separate space, we can I'm not a cuddler. Bathroom. I'm always the straggler. It's always got to be one, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always off in my own world, like doing something. <laughs> I love that there's speakers around the whole house. The whole house that is, is so like dope. 12 Sonos units. Oh, that's amazing. We finished it like uh, two, three months ago. We never had to do that music. All right, guys, I was Instagram storying instead of vlogging when we first walked in, so we're gonna go through the main entrance of the house now. So the whole house is wired to control all the rooms um, here. We're gonna shut the doors, we'll pull way off the doors. Yeah. Um, you just go. We have three playlists on here right now. Like one that we just did, one um, full party, and another one. So you can go through those and just have whatever you want. It's full Spotify, so. Like, I feel as though right? this footage is not doing this house no. justice. <laughs> Bliss. Um, if this is it, Kevin. Rosa. I don't know what it is. Is that your favorite champagne? What? I don't know how to say that. Ooh. So good. I just figured it out like last week. But they literally stocked our fridge with. Oh, Focus! I'm so excited. Guac. Berries. Tons of fresh fruit. Obviously. The alcohol. Oh, and water. We're gonna drink a lot of water on this trip, too. Sorry. Coach. Have fun, Karen. Oh, is this you? Oh, and here's Emily. There's a hot tub back there. Where? Oh. Whoa. Where are we getting this out? Look at your shower. This is my room that I'm claiming. I'm so excited. I got a view. I got a view. It's locked. I'll show y'all my view later. Oh my god. Wait, I got my own bathroom. I got my own bathroom. All right, guys. I'm going to show y'all from the start the walk in. Unbelievable. Casa Mariposa. Thank you so much. This is unreal. Saturday, no, it's Sunday. It's Sunday morning, and just feeling really, really grateful to be waking up to this. Oh my gosh. It's all pretty, so peaceful. Hi, 
How is it, Rans? I was about to just say no, but wow. it's so good. Oh yeah. We are so blessed right now. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is the definition of living your best life, I think. <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you. Appetizers. What do we have here? Tuna poke. Tuna poke. Uh huh. Yum. Yes. Mango, avocados, red onions. Yum. Cilantro. Are these Soy tortillas? Okay. Oh, yes, it's tortilla. Okay. Okay, awesome. this is the gluten free. Great. Oh, they're gluten free. Uh, uh, uh huh. I, Are all of them gluten free? Yes, all of them. This is with gluten. Oh, this. And that one's gluten free. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Thank you. A little fashion tour for the night. Where's your romper from? It's a romper, guys. Yeah. She looks White beautiful. Fox White Fox Boutique. So cute. Marie? I'm ready. Gorge? Oh, I'm ready. Where is it from? <laughs> free people? We all get up so fast. cute. Emily, hello, beautiful. Walk it out, walk it out. I don't know if you can yeah. twerk in a floral dress, but no, you probably you should. More so, like. <laughs> oh, Where's it from? Um, from 21. Honestly, it's like so cute. I want to say it's like eight years old. Stop! It's super cute. <laughs> Will you do me? Oops. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> this is my first maxi skirt. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Um, and then this is the bodysuit. Both from Charlotte Roos, like really cheap. I, I love Charlotte Roos. Love it. Walk it out. Walk it out. Next up, Miss Randy Kennedy. This is beautiful. Hold on. Thanks. You need to like not be by the chair because I tree. need a full <laughs> outfit here. There we go. This is gorgeous. Where's it Thank from? You. I got it from Lulu's. Oh which my gosh. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah, it same. I have so many dresses from there. Yeah. Lulu's is amazing. Do a spin. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thanks. I feel like we're all so Cabo right now. Yeah. And this ahi pokey is absolutely delicious. This one is gluten free, so there's no soy sauce in that one. And these are freshly baked um, corn tortilla little crackers. They're literally so good. Thank okay. you. We start with that. And the main course red snapper, jumbo shrimp, and vegetables cooked with olive oil and salt and pepper. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Jesus prepared um, huico, that's us, ajillo. Um, ajillo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's with uh, garlic, huico, garlic, ajo, and chile uh, guajillo. Is, uh, we, we, uh, we use the two words, ajillo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's amazing. It's not too spicy, but you, you put just a little bit because yeah, for me it's water. I don't know for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes. And for oh, dessert, lime and mango and uh, sorbet, okay. and uh, raspberries and strawberry uh, scone. Cool. Thank wow. you. Wow. Enjoy. So good. All right guys, it is Monday. Uh, we got a little work done this morning and now we just got back from laying out by the pool. Got a little bit of a tan line, probably burnt just a little bit, but Lupita is in here and Carlos making us lunch. We love you guys so much. They've been providing us with the most delicious food, fresh guac, 
fresh salsa. I think we have some ceviche and some uh, gluten-free, uh, cheese-free for me, quesadillas for lunch. Um, so I've been eating pretty healthy and the girls are chilling. Eating some chips. <laughs> Uh, so we're just having a super relaxing day today. Um, yesterday we spent the entire day out on the boat. It was so, so, so much fun. Um, it's just been such an incredible just blessing to be here. Just such an incredible experience to have so much time bonding with these amazing souls sitting behind me. Um, we're gonna have some lunch and then head back down to the pool. So see you guys soon. So good. That was the perfect time to turn my camera on. <laughs> <laughs> I have no voice, sorry. Mm. Next up, up salad. Do you guys want to do Q&A? Are you doing it? Yeah, yeah. Just kidding, we're sharing it. it. Okay, now let's do it. Because I was like, has anybody dubbed it yet? Yeah, <laughs> sure. And, okay. Um, how sure did, do you questions? remember how to pronounce this drink? Mica. It kind of sounds like Himika the fruit, but it's not. It's Mica. He compared it to how we drink tea iced tea in America. And he said it's Mexican iced tea. It is so good. It's so good, the Mexican iced tea. Bowl is bigger than my head and it's full ceviche. of shrimp ceviche. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat myself, listen to Randy. It is a bowl of shrimp ceviche. Oh shit. Some vegetables and some fresh green salsa. This is oh, light. You should get the scoop yeah. of the shot. Like mm. Oh yeah. Good morning, YouTube. I'm a little bit red. <laughs> um, it's Tuesday today. I can't believe we've been here for like four days already, but just woke up. We're gonna go get in a workout. Wow, already fogged up. Hang on. Crazy foggy. There we go. So we're gonna go get in a little beach workout. We're gonna do like a circuit workout on the beach. We have like tons of stairs leading upstairs and downstairs. So um, make do with what we have out here and it's gonna be an awesome workout. We're just gonna do like a 35 minute hit style workout and then have some breakfast. So see you guys soon. Crazy lunch feast, fish, guacamole, shishito peppers, rice, yeah. salsa, wow. we lift that? Torta. Corn yeah. torta. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Yum. Thank you. Gracias. Go bomb this out to is rap. how you end the last night in Mexico. Popping bottles. Really bad. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mary, um, Marie, your name is Marie. <laughs> uh, what would be your advice to a woman or even a man who might be watching who um, might be struggling with their body image at this time of their life? Um, they're in a place where they're struggling with their body image and it's impacting like their motivation level and self image. Yeah, so the biggest thing that has helped me with my body image and just being confident with my external has been really getting in touch with what's going on internally. So being confident in the human that I am, not how I look. Like your self-worth is not determined by what you look like. So when you really spend time with yourself, when you sit in silence and you figure out who you truly are like to your core and become confident in that, then it is so much easier to be confident in your external self because you understand that you are so much more than your shell. Like you are everything that's going on inside and your exterior is just like the fancy, you know, adornment on the outside. Ah, oh, that was amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Marie. Mm -hmm. 
Amanda? What a good question and what a good answer. I was going <laughs> to say the same exact thing. I think when I was struggling with body image, I started to go into the gym and work on my performance, which was instead of training for aesthetics, I was training for performance. So I did a powerlifting meet and now I'm doing like hit workouts and stuff like that. And it feels just really good um, to do stuff like that. But yeah, like exactly what Marie said, when you start learning more about yourself and when you start connecting with yourself and who you are and creating things, like I think even if, um, even like whatever you're doing during the week, if you can like spend some of your free time creating something amazing for yourself or like creating amazing experiences, creating a business, creating um, new friendships, creating anything that makes you feel excited, it will allow you to connect with different parts of yourself that maybe you didn't know existed because you've been spending so much time focused on just fitness. And there's so many more other beautiful things in life that you maybe don't even know about yourself. I used to think that I wasn't creative because I was a science major and I like focus on the science part of fitness and I was like, I'm not creative. And then, holy crap, I connected with the creative part of myself and I'm very creative. So it's really fun to do that. So try new things and learn new skills and just enjoy other aspects of life. Yes, thank you. Miss Emily Hayden. Yes. Um, what would be your advice for somebody who is struggling with their self-confidence at this time in their fitness journey? Yeah, I would say what you focus on is what you create. So if you're constantly focusing on why you're not good enough and the things that you don't like about yourself, that's what you're going to further create in your life. So I would say shift your mindset, shift your focus to focus on other things besides your body image. Really, really work in this area of self-love on yourself. And that doesn't mean going in the mirror and saying, I hate the fat that I didn't used to have, or I hate the this or that that I'm not happy with, or you know, I'm gonna pretend that I like it. It's not about like pretending that you like things that you don't really like. It's about changing your mindset, shifting your focus to say, you know what, I really appreciate the fact that I have two arms and two legs. There are so many people that don't even have that. So shift your mindset to start being grateful. If, if you can't love yourself quite yet, and you wanna start that journey, just say, you know what, I'm gonna start with being grateful and practicing a gratitude routine every single day that has to do with myself and start loving yourself and loving your body for everything else it can do. And if you're at a really struggling point, maybe you need to do a little challenge for yourself where you literally don't look in the mirror, like at all, ever. And all you do is practice positive affirmations to yourself every single day, saying my body is healthy and getting better every single day. I am loving myself more and more each day. I appreciate myself more and more each day. It's just retraining your mind to look and focus on different things. And also for myself, it's been really helpful to focus on different things in the gym. So when I'm at the gym, maybe it meant trying a different workout or you know trying cycling. I found that I really love cycling. So I started doing that for, I've been doing it for like seven months now. Um, so just try new things, shift your focus and practice daily positive affirmations to yourself. That was so great. Positive affirmations have literally changed my life. It Thanks helps so much. Thanks, Em. Introduce yourself. Hi, guys. I am Noelle Revelo, and I'm one of Karen's And I love you. Noelle, what would be your advice for somebody who's watching that is at a point in their fitness journey, maybe they're just getting started, or maybe there's somebody like myself who has competed for many years, and they're seeing their body change in a different way than they're used to, and maybe they're struggling with their self-confidence, their body image. What would be your best advice for them? Okay, so this is a great question. Um, because I've worked with women, I do coaching, and a lot of them come to me actually with that issue, unfortunately, and I just think that life is too short to ever feel that way, um, because there's like, it's just too short to feel that way, and that's what I always say. But what I would say is that um, you need to love yourself regardless of in the state you're in, even if you're not the most happiest with it. Um, because your body is always a work in progress and that's like the beautiful thing. So sometimes you'll find that you reach a point to where you actually do, you know, reach the goals that you've envisioned for yourself and then you will find that you're still not happy, but that's because mm -hmm. you didn't start loving yourself from when you started your journey or loving yourself even if you're a few extra pounds heavy, like that's okay. That's not gonna be permanent. Um, so love yourself no matter what, show yourself self-love, um, be very aware of the language you use towards yourself as far as like, oh, like I'm fat or da 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 da. You might think those things, like, but as soon as you do, reinforce it with something positive about yourself. Like, I'm a work in progress and I'm going to get there because no matter what, like, you're always a work in progress. Um, does that make my point? Like, yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah. And um, my biggest two things would be. Be very cautious of how you speak to yourself mm -hmm. and how you think of yourself because your thoughts and words, even yeah. though you say them and you're like, oh, it's lightly, like 
they really become how you feel by yourself. Yeah. Um, so always reinforce like with positive thoughts when you think negative ones instantly. It's a practice, but it's something that you have to do. This is stuff that I, I personally have to do as well. Um, and and yeah, love yourself in all states because you're a masterpiece in the making. Yeah, I always say that like if I spoke to myself or if one of my best friends spoke to me the way that I'm speaking to myself, would I be friends with her? Like, no, no you know, so yeah, I love that. Thanks, Noelle. Introduce yourself. Hello, I am Randy Kennedy, Karen's bestie. My channel is probably out of, like, I mean, you all are my best, but I think my channel's probably seen you the most. <laughs> I'm back in Canada. She's back. Um, so, Miss Randy, I know that this is something that will be near and dear to your heart to touch on and speak on to. So, I want you to share um, your best tips and advice. Um, for men, women, anyone who's watching that is at a stage in their life, in their fitness journeys, where um, they're just maybe struggling with a little bit of self-confidence, with body image, maybe they're seeing their body change differently than what they're used to, or um, they just haven't reached what they think is going to be their ideal body shape or type, and they're really sh struggling with motivation, mentality. What would be your advice? Okay, first off, my eyes are burning. It's a very... Um, <laughs> It's a very touchy subject, I get that, but I'm already crying. Just kidding, it's just so bright out here. Just wanted to let you guys know that. So I think that this is a really great question because it really hits you in the feels. And Karen and I have both um, gone through these transformations since we stopped competing where our body just feels like like we're, we're a stranger in our own body. Like we don't really know what it needs, kind of lost touch with it. And you know, going through the rehabilitation process just to get it back to where it's happy and proud to be, and where we actually know what it needs. Um, a lot of confidence can kind of uh, plummet, and you just feel really frustrated. And my best advice for you, speaking from experience, is to know that this is temporary. Whether you knew you were in touch with your body before and you felt really confident, and you kind of lost that, or you've never really felt confident in your body and you're striving to find that. Just know that this is temporary. This is a chapter in your life that is going to pass. All you need to do is be consistent, focus on that self-love, and know that this isn't all that you're destined to have or that all that your life is going to be. When you work really hard to change these things, like you're gonna reflect back on this and you're gonna realize that there's a lot of personal growth that happened during this time and that anything is possible with hard work and that it is just temporary like it is going to pass mm -hmm. so I think that my best advice when it comes to confidence is obviously knowing that it's temporary but also loving your body for more than what it looks like love your body for what it does for you every single moment of every single day it's so easy to get caught up in physical appearances because at this day and age like social media is at an all-time high like people look absolutely amazing you know like it's just so easy to compare yourself um, and your life to what somebody else has and remember that everything that you see on social media or in magazines and stuff like that is only what they want you to see so comparing is really the thief of joy and you just need to get back to like your center and know that your body is working so hard for you every single day and you are more than chiseled abs and like you are more than your current position in life mm -hmm. and focusing so hard on that self-love and what you're good at and like being grateful that your body is healthy in order to keep up and run with life it's just it's just going to amplify your gratitude for where you are right now and motivate you for where you want to be does that make sense? Yes, I love was such a beautiful answer. Thank you, Randy. Of course. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Last final hour in paradise. Come by. Oh, oh my gosh. I know. One last view. One last view. One last view for now. We're already planning our next girls trip and we're absolutely coming right back to this very location. This was amazing. I can't even express what taking time for this reset this recharge did for all of our souls we are all leaving so recharged and just so ready to get back to home and feeling more connected with ourselves with our souls um just feeling so inspired and just at just like a higher level you know when you all come together and challenge one another in the best way possible and feed off of each other's energies and bring that beautiful energy into each other's lives we're, we're literally just leaving on on like the next level and just ready for everything that's next in our lives um but
Did you guys have the best time the best. ever? Yes. When are we coming back? Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. We're not leaving. <laughs> I love you, girls. Love you. Love you. Do you want to speak French, Japanese, Portuguese? Ah. Uh, no. These are the two. These are the two that made our trip so extra special and magical. This trip would have been nothing without you guys. Thank you so much. We are already planning our next trip back. Thank you, Carlos and the Pizza Gracias. Adios.